Yes, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the BFL Footy Show for another week. Proudly supported by McDonald's, Ballarat, and also Ballarat Toyota. Shawnee, uh, only a few rounds left, mainly about five, five or six rounds left. Uh, it's getting towards the uh, pointy end of the season. Yeah, it definitely is. It's starting to get exciting as well, especially in a year when the top six, A, isn't settled yeah. yet, and B, is very, very open. So it's looking like it's going to be a really good run to the end of the year. Big game last week. We'll just touch on briefly. Bacchus Marsh and, uh, and Lake Wendereet. Yep. Bacchus Marsh's win keeps their final chances alive. Oh, it certainly does. It's put them into basically a tie for six spot now with the Lakers. So it's opened up the season like you wouldn't believe that win as well because obviously with Sunbury going down as well, it gives that another yep. chance to get in there. So positions five and six are wide open. You've got Sunbury, Lakers, Bacchus Marsh, Melton, who are only two points yep. off, and even East Point after losing last week are still only four points off the pace with the bye this week. So it's anyone's. Just moving on to the games this weekend, mate. Uh, rivalry round, a big, uh, big uh, weekend of matches. The yep. first game we'll look at is between Bacchus Marsh and Daly. Uh, Bacchus Marsh, I think, are an outside chance here. Daly are playing some very good football, mm. probably one of the form sides, if not the form side of the competition over the last month. But I think Bacchus Marsh at home with their win last week and knowing that, uh, you know, I suppose a couple of uh, upset wins for them over the next few weeks will probably cement a finals berth for them. Yep. It might be enough to give themselves a chance. Look, they've got the confidence that they've beaten Darley once this year already, of course, back on Anzac yeah. Day as well. So they know that they can beat Darley, but it was a different Darley side running around back then. And there's a chance that they could get some big ins again tomorrow. Steve Kennedy could come back in. Reese Ellis could come back in. There's even a chance that Australia's newest TV star, Nathan Jackal, could come back into the side as well after missing with a hamstring injury in the last couple of weeks. So Darley are just getting stronger and stronger. And this is going to be a big test for Bacchus Marsh tomorrow. Very much so. Lake Wendere taking on Sebastopol. Uh, after Lake Wendere, Lake Wendere's disappointing defeat last week, this makes this game very important, not only for a win, but also percentage as well. Yeah, correct. Percentage um, could play a very important part um, come finals time. So they, they need to win this game, Lake Wendere, and win well. And that's one of the advantages that Lake Wendere have got at the moment. Their percentage is far superior to that yeah. of the teams below them. And they take on Sebastopol this week at the Eastern Oval. The game's been moved from Wendere Reserve, which has officially been condemned and going under the knife, so to speak. So it gives the Lakers a chance to get their running game going and a chance for them to kick a big score as well. Yeah. Good to see Gavin Webb back into the side this week after a sore rib in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, that'll so. give them some steel in the back line as well. Melton play, Melton Seth at the uh, Epic First and Park on Saturday afternoon. You think Melton at home be too strong, Sean? You'd think, but this kind of rivalry, it doesn't matter where people are yeah, on the ladder when it's Melton, Melton South. Melton South are going to come out strong for this one, there's no doubt about it. It's Matty Sutton's last time coaching against the local rival. You'd think that Melton, with too much to play for, would be able to get over the line in this one. It's it's basically their season on the line here. If they don't lose this one, and they can't, yeah, oh, so, sorry, if they do lose this one and they can't beat Melton South, you can't see them having, A, an impact if they do make the finals, or B, getting to the finals yep. themselves. So really big game for the Bloods this week, and I reckon they should be able to do it. Redan play Sunbury. It's, it's great that these, um, that these two sides are playing each other in rivalry round because mm. the... Uh, the amount of uh, fantastic clashes they've had over the years in, in big finals is is, um, is unbelievable, and I think uh, you know both sides are going pretty well at the moment. Uh, Redan's win last week against Mountain South, they, they had to bounce back after their disappointing defeat the week yep. before. They bounced back and had a really good win. I think at home they'll be too strong for Sunbury. Yeah, look, you talk about a lot of rivalries. Bacchus Marsh, Darley, Melton, Melton South, which are rivalries that are town based. Yeah. And there's been a lot of history and hatred. The Redan Sunbury ones is a rivalry born out of respect and yeah. born out of some really, really good clashes that these two sides have played in recent years. This one's going to be no exception because Sunbury know that they're a little bit vulnerable mm. if they lose this one as well. They're going to come out under City Oval, which is pretty heavy. They got a chance to run on Daly Park last week, but it's going to be a little bit difficult. It'll be more like the game they played against Ballarat in at Alfred a couple of weeks yeah. ago. So it'll be a heavy game where probably 10 to 12 goals will be yeah. enough to win. Whether they can do that against a Redan side that are pretty good all across the park, do have some big outs this yeah. week, though. But whether they can get their first win in Ballarat for the year summary, they haven't won in Ballarat yet this season. They've got this game and they've got North City to go. They could go through a year not winning in Ballarat. That could be the difference between coming back down to Ballarat in the first week of the finals or not. Very much so. The last game we'll look at is played on Sunday between Ballarat and North City, Shorty. This game's uh, played at the Alfred and uh, Reserve now. Yep. Uh, interesting game. Miss Ballarat uh, have been going just sort of along fairly quietly. Haven't been uh, much spoken about them all this year. They've uh, played some pretty good football. Mm. Currently sitting third position in the ladder, and obviously North City have played pretty well all year. So a big chance of Ballarat to uh, to take a big scalp before September. Um, can they do it on Sunday? I think they can. Well, yeah. Look, you said that not a lot of people have been talking about Ballarat. They win this one. Everyone's going to be talking yeah. about Ballarat. There's no doubt about that. Liam, you'll. They haven't had that. Hasn't been much talk about. You're right. A lot of talks obviously been. 
North Ballarat City, it's been Redan, it's been Sunbury, and it's been, in recent weeks it's been Darley. Ballarat are flying under the radar a bit. They're two and a half games clear in third spot at the moment. Yeah. They win this, top three's locked in, yeah. with a chance to go top two because yeah. they do play Redan in a couple of weeks. So huge, huge opportunity for Ballarat, but it's not going to be easy against the reigning right. premiers who bring Jared Graham back into the side. They bring Ryan Hobbs back into the side as well. Against the Ballarat... Back line, uh, Ballarat forward line, that with Sam Conroy not playing this week, still on North Ballarat Roosters duty, they don't have any real standout tools or anything like that. So whilst Brendan Howard is out of the side for North City, it's yep. a chance for... They don't have to go kind of one out with Hobbsy on at all or anything yes. like that. They can use him more to advantage. So it's going to be very interesting to see how North City cover that Ballarat forward line this week. And I think that's just going to give them a slight advantage. Shawnee, uh, that wraps up the... Uh Round third action, mate. What's your plans for the week? Are you heading on to any games in particular? Yeah, well, not so much in particular. I might just do the rounds a little bit oh, yeah. on the weekend as per usual. Go out and see a few of them and, get, yep. I suppose, get the face seen. So be very good. And then on Sunday, I know we spoke about it on the netball show earlier this week, but heading up to Melbourne to have a ch- to check out our BFL girls playing the Regional State League Champions Challenge yep. on Sunday in Melbourne. So fingers crossed that the girls can go well there. Very good, mate. Thanks for joining us once again. It's always a pleasure, mate. And thanks for tuning in. As you know, that the show is probably supported by McDonald's, Ballarat, and also Ballarat Toyota. Uh, enjoy the football this weekend. Goodbye for now.